With the final completion slated to be January 2020, St. Regis Mohawk Tribe Health Director Mike Cook speaks about the expansion and completion of the St. Regis Mohawk Tribe's health services buildings. There's a total of four phases uh, with the project. We are in, we currently just entered into phase two. Phase one was, was getting people out of the existing space into the space. And, and then once, once the, the, the space was, was vacated in the existing building, then the renovation uh, process has started. So the, the phase three is, is when it's gonna get really fun for, for everybody. You know, we're gonna just really ask a lot of patience on part of the community because it, it's gonna be, phase three is, is the, the transition of the pharmacy, and that's gonna be an alteration of, of workflow. And then we're, we're changing some things, some things around with medical. Um, so phase three is, is when it really is going to get um, challenging for everybody. Presently, the move is close to complete with departments already inhabiting the new building. Mike spoke with us about the original structure and how many of those departments can now expand. The existing spot, what's going to be left in there is, is, is we're ballooning out. So, so what we mean by is we're going to be given more space to the existing services. So that's medical, which includes lab, pharmacy. Uh, medical, we're almost doubling the size of our exam room. So it's all about access for the community to, to get in here to allow us to, to just provide better quality services. And outreach is uh, uh, in, in the building. Being, being expanded as well. According to the schedule, I, I think it's late January where the project's going to be completed. Mike acknowledged Akwazasni's fortunate position in the health services expansion, based in part on our leadership's commitment to the community. This, this building is, is truly a, a testament of, of the leadership's uh, commitment to the community. Um, I've been, uh, I've traveled Indian country and, and seeing a lot of communities, unfortunately, that the leadership forgot why certain things economically were being done. And so thus, with, with our leadership, those, all those resources are being put back in the programs and services. So, that, so the expansion of the health center is certainly a testament of, of the commitment of our leadership. And, and we should be, you know, we are very appreciative of the support that we get from leadership.